we've got the easiest way to transfer video to your computer without a computer. The Pinnacle PVT on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Go to gateway.com to see what they can do for you. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, I have to start off by thanking everyone, everyone out there who has heard my cries, heard my pleas to go to our YouTube channel and vote on our gateway contest entry. We by far have the most number of comments, most number of ratings, and the most number of views. And if we do win this machine, this killer rig that we're going to be using for video editing on the show in the future, well, I owe you a bunch of gadget goodness well, well into your uber geekdom. Now let's get on to the tech. We've got another piece of gear from our friends over at Pinnacle. Now you remember Pinnacle from last week, we actually reviewed their PC TV HD USB tuner. It was a nice little flash drive sized device that allowed you to plug it into your laptop or your desktop and basically get high quality HD video from an aerial, from a cable, or any composite video source into your computer. Use it as a PVR. It was a nice piece of gear and it just shows that Pinnacle has some really mature technologies. Well, they've sent us another device. This is their PVT or their Pinnacle Video Transfer Unit. The idea is to be able to get video capture from any analog source, from a video game console, from your DVR, your PVR, from your satellite television, whatever it might be, any sort of device that can output either super video or composite video, it will automatically record onto a flash drive, a USB hard drive, or even say a media device that can be read as a standard storage device, like your iPod or your PSP. The Pinnacle Video Transfer Unit, or PVT, is a self-contained, one-touch, direct-to-device video capture unit that can record MPEG-4, H.264 video and audio directly onto your iPod, PSP, USB hard drive, or flash drive. It's small, about the size of a large cell phone or a remote control, and it's light, made even lighter by the fact that it performs its recording magic without the need for a PC. The PVT has both S-Video and Composite Video inputs, as well as a single set of RCA inputs for audio. Everything is labeled and color-coded for ease of installation, so that connecting your camera, cable box, or other analog device is a trivial matter. The other side of the PVT houses a 5-volt power plug, a USB-A plug for connecting the unit to the recording medium, and a USB-B plug reserved for future use. We tested the PVT with a variety of flash and hard drives of different makes and capacities. Everything from a 256 megabyte flash drive to a 160 gigabyte portable USB hard drive. Each device powered up and was recognized by the PVT. It should be mentioned that the PVT is only compatible with FAT16 or FAT32 enabled USB storage devices. You'll at least need to have a FAT partition in order to use your device with a PVT. There are only two buttons on the PVT, the record button and the mode button. Both are recessed into the Pinnacle logo on the front of the unit. Pressing the mode button will switch the unit between three different recording modes. If you have the PVT connected to an iPod, the mode button switches between 320x240, high quality 320x240, and 640x480. If you are connected to a PSP, the mode button switches you between 320x240 at incrementally higher bit rates. If you are connected to a USB hard or flash drive, the mode button switches you between 320x240, 640x480, and DVD quality 720x480. To use the PVT, you connect the video and audio source that you want to record to the input side of the device. The PVT will automatically sense which inputs are live and indicate the active inputs with a blue LED. This is actually a pretty good system that removes a lot of confusion from the recording process. You then connect the power and a compatible storage device on the other side of the unit. 
The storage device should automatically power up and the PVT will prepare it for use, giving you a blue light when your storage is ready. If you're using an iPod or a PSP, the PVT will also charge the device, making sure that you don't run out of juice in the middle of recording. Pressing the record button will start recording your video and audio source. The LEDs will turn red and the indicator light on your USB device should start to show activity. Pressing the record button again closes the file. The mode lights will begin to oscillate and then turn solid blue when the recording is ready to be played. That's it. You're done. The PVT has just made a ready-to-use MPEG-4 H.264 recording of your chosen resolution. You can pull out the storage device and play it on your desktop, laptop, or if you're using a PSP or video-enabled iPod as storage, directly off of your mobile device. Recording quality was good. Not high definition, but far better than we thought was possible from such a small device. Audio always sounded good, and at video resolutions up to 640x480, there was no artifacting, no stutter, and no video tearing. This is especially noteworthy because the PVT encodes and compresses to H.264 on the fly. That's a lot of power in a little box. However, if you plan on recording at 720x480 DVD quality, be prepared to buy a fast USB storage device as the PVT automatically adjusts the bitrate of the recorded video and audio to match the transfer speed of the storage device. And at DVD quality resolution, you'll want every last bit of performance. Using a plain old-fashioned USB flash drive could lead to some unwanted video and audio distortion. Recording time was great. 4GB of space will buy you 3 hours of DVD resolution video and audio. Dropping down to 640x480 increases that time to 5.5 hours. Using YouTube-sized video 320x240 means that 4 gigabytes will last 11 hours. The Pinnacle PVT is available now online for about $130. This is a very worthy addition to any videographer's kit. As we mentioned in the review, it's not high definition. I mean, this is not something that's going to destroy your camcorder or your high-end 3CCD video device. But it is something that you can use in a pinch, and in some situations, it's actually preferable to some of those higher-end devices. If you're recording, say, video games, and you, you want to be able to make some recordings of your speed runs, or if, if you've got to, it attached to a camera that you want to put in a high-risk area, it's nice to be able to hook in something like this 32 gigabyte uh, USB flash drive and get something like four days worth of high quality video and audio onto this little device, all without any moving parts. Now, something else that I have to mention because I really enjoyed this is we discovered that this little extra reserved USB port, which is supposed to be used to connect this directly to your computer for some functions that Pinnacle may add in the future, you can actually use it to power the device. So for example, if you remember, I uh, reviewed the Xantrix Mobile Mini a while back. This thing provides 5 volts USB power. And uh, if we turn it on, we can actually power up the Pinnacle PVT. And now I have a completely mobile, fantastically useful and portable device that I could, say, use in a car, I could use in a backpack, I could, I could connect it to like a bullet cam and uh, get those shots that I, I wouldn't want to bring my expensive camera to. Now, we have been using this over the last couple of days to, to capture video from several different sources. Everything from a, a, an old camcorder to uh, our Xbox to our PS2. And uh, it's done an admirable job. I mean, it's made it very, very simple. The only drawback that I could find is that the files that it transfers it into, which is, it's basically, it's, it's QuickTime. It's H264.264 files. Some programs, like the Adobe Premiere that we use, don't deal with them so well, and so you have to transfer them out. I mean, but, but that really is a small, small thing, especially when you consider that H.264 is one of the formats that transfers to YouTube really well. So if you were recording this in 320x240 or 640x480, you'd have a, a file that you could immediately take from your USB flash drive or your USB hard drive, plug it into your laptop or your desktop, and transfer it directly to YouTube in a native format, in, in, a, in a format that's not going to have that messed up out-of-sync audio that you see so often with some digital still cameras. If you're looking for a device that is flexible, that is really durable, that is light, that is easy to connect, that is, is almost impossible to screw up, you may want to take a look at the Pinnacle PVT. 
And uh, if you want to find out more, you can go to the Pinnacle website at www.pinnaclesys.com. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you'd like to find out more about the Pinnacle PVT or any of the products that we've reviewed on the show, you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find links to all of our high-resolution episodes. If you want to send us an email message, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>